I actually go from splice and post and I'm here with a very quick assembly scratch tutorial uh, for you uh, once again I'm gonna be using uh, examples from the current feature I'm working on which is a see-through me is a very one of the very first red epic features out of West Africa awesome images great story great characters and I'm just having a blast working with them um, I just got on a project about two weeks ago to do the final DI and finishing and as usual assembly scratch is always there for the win so <laughs> that is just by the way earlier on here in my shop um, I was with a client and I was going through a grading session and I did something whilst I was grading and he got fascinated with how quick it was um, personally I wasn't fascinated why because it's a feature that I've been using in Scratch for years but he was fascinated being the first time he seen that and the fact that I did it very quick without having to waste time doing it so his fascination kind of motivated me to do this tutorial because I believe that um, you might be you probably a veteran using assembly scratch or you probably new to the program and you might or might not know about this feature but it's okay for us to learn so you know exactly the kind of power that this um, application gives you now this was what was going on um, I have the shot here okay and I just wanted to do a very quick frame into the shot all right now as you could see um, this shot here it cuts to her and there's another shot here okay so what I want to do is I want to be able to apply the change to both of them at the same time now it could be kind of tedious you know if you want it to be tedious but it's very easy if you want it to be easy because the tools to make it very easy are there for you so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale this up a little bit all right and this by no means is the way that um you know the kind of framing that I wanted for the final but this is just for the sake of the tutorial all right so something extreme so you know that something is really changing and I'll just do um, an X offset boom so let's just say I like this okay I like this so I would want to apply that to the shot here which is um, the same shot but this one doesn't have that applied to it now of course I could decide to say uh, let me copy and paste but the thing about it is the copy and paste feature you're gonna have a lot of other stuff um, for those of you who use scratch you will know that once you copy and paste you will have to deselect and select exactly the parameters that you want to you know paste and that might be you know it might waste a lot of time if you want to do that okay and I say waste time because if something is taking me more than 30 seconds to do you know it's kind of like hard for me to want to do it because I need everything at a click of a button all right and I might also decide to go back here and say okay let me just copy these numbers and come back here and input them but also that will take a lot of time so the quickest way in scratch to do this is I'm just gonna go back to my construct okay and this is the shot that I want to change and this is the one that has the change already applied to it so what I'm going to do here in my construct is I'm going to just pick up this one from the slot holding down control or command if you're on a Mac I'll just drop it right on top of this okay and that's it I'll just bring this back so now when I step back into this you're going to realize that the reframing happened to it it basically copied the parameters from the base um, track onto itself so the offsets and the scale is there very easy very quick and this is like just two seconds okay so this is a very quick way to use a drag and drop and this doesn't really happen with every kind of thing you're doing in, in, in scratch meaning that it's not going to work with scaffolds and all of that but it works great with stuff like um, you know reframing and scaling um, even virus speeds okay so let's just say that um, is there another shot I could use here let me find a shot of um, motion so it's very apparent okay so there's a shot of um, characters okay so they walk in here okay and I'm gonna try to play it all right and it's not slow motion but <laughs> I'm just dropping some frames okay now once I go into my edit okay you realize that um it's at a hundred okay so it should play now let's just say I want to just change the speed using the very speed um, feature here so I'll just say 20 okay and now real slow motion all right so let's just say I want to you know copy that same speed to another clip all right all I'm gonna do let's just say this one here so I'm gonna go and play this so you see that it's a, a normal speed okay well I'm dropping frames so but as you can see the very speed is at a hundred all right so when I come back to my construct I could just pick this up 
same way for the now controller command drop it here so now when I enter that you can see the very speed value changed okay and that is a very very quick way so sometimes I mean with a scenario that I just showed you guys uh, sometimes just going back on the same clip and trying to remember the exact values that you input might be you know it might take you some time to do it okay but this is a very quick way if you don't remember the values if you don't feel like hey I want to go back to the previous clip and see what exactly what uh, bar speed value I use or exactly what scale values that I use you could just use this drag and drop feature and it's very it works it's very fast and your clients just like my client was very fascinated they're gonna be fascinated and they're gonna be happy alright so thanks once again for watching and uh, God bless you